What it do, what it do, what it do, y'all? All right, y'all, so today we are going to a bridal expo in Baltimore. So I'm on my way to my manager's house. This is like off the clock type stuff, but we're trying to plan a bridal shower for our venue um, next year. So we're gonna scope it out or whatever and see what we can figure out, do some little educational stuff or whatever. So we're gonna take some notes, <clears throat> but I'm gonna bring y'all along with me so that y'all know what a bridal expo is, cause I ain't never been in no bridal expo, I'm not married. But let me tell y'all, so I got this little ring, right? But I'm gonna put it on the other hand when I go in there. Cause I know they're gonna be asking questions and it's funny because my manager is a little bit older, so she was like, I'm gonna play like I'm the mom of the bride. And then like our assistant is going and she's younger than me. And she was like, I ain't ready to get married right now. That's not what I'm thinking about. So she's gonna be like the sister of the bride for me. So I'm at the age, I've been in a relationship for a long time. Like, no, he hasn't popped the question yet, but hopefully it's coming soon. So we'll see. But I'm gonna play like the bride. I think that's what we're gonna do. But y'all already know what it is before we get into this vlog. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure y'all hit that notification button every time I post. And make sure y'all up on Instagram and TikTok at Jasmine You Love. Y'all, <clears throat> I got sick like two months ago. Maybe not two months ago. Maybe like a month and a half ago. And I done had this freaking little congestion <clears throat> and this cough. Like once it gets cold outside, I had this cough. So if y'all have experienced the same thing, please let me know because I'm curious to see how I can get rid of it because I'm sick of the... <clears throat> And the cough cough. It's getting on my last nerve. But so I'm headed there. I'm like uh, maybe like I'm like 16 minutes away from my manager's house. So the place is in Columbia. The it's at the um convention center in Baltimore. So that's where we're going. That's where everything is. I think the tickets, so when I signed up, the tickets were free. So I don't know if we got to pay at the door. I think I saw something about $10 or something like that. But we're trying to figure out a bunch of things like how much, <clears throat> how many vendors do they have? How much did they charge their vendors? Like how much is it for each booth? Um, what type of vendors are there? Like what are they selling or what are they advertising and things like that? Um, just a bunch of different things. Why is the lady walking on the side of the highway with a dog? Okay, I don't know. Um, but so I'm trying to figure that part out, but I need to get off of this exit. All right, yeah, so I'll see y'all when I get with them. I'm gonna show y'all my little outfit. I'm gonna try to take some little pictures today. We're gonna see. I know I need to, once I get back home, I'll probably do Onyx's hair. Yeah, I think so. They ain't got nothing to do with y'all. I'm just trying to take stuff through. All right, yeah, I'll see y'all in a little bit. <laughs> Bye, y'all. We in Baltimore. Oh, this is the crosswalk. Look, they want to follow in the... Oh, Lord. All right, y'all, so we made it to Baltimore. So the thing started at 1230 to 5, I think. So, y'all, it's... We late. What time is it? 1.30. We're hour late. Yeah, it's 130. But we finally made it. Y'all should have seen the pocket situation, but I'll tell y'all about that later.
try this one. Me down. Okay. A mocktail. Um, so we can do that. Okay. Where can we find it? So we can add like more. I'm sorry. Where can we find it? Um, you will go over to our, yes, uh, and we've got all the details. That's Brittany, she's our lead bartender. Thank you. That was delicious. Oh okay, my goodness.
Gerade geschildert, wie es They will go to the venue and set up shop, okay. like a food truck. Yes. Yeah. Around the, you guys, you guys like uh, the breweries at all? And then the album is what, extra? The album, right now the album is extra. People have been asking about it, I may incorporate an album. Mm -hmm. it,
Hey Shayla. <laughs> All right, hey guys, so I am back in the car. I will say this, so this was my first bridal expo. It was in Baltimore. I'm just gonna give a little recap. There were a lot of nice vendors there. I'm gonna be brutally honest with you, like I always am. So when you first walked in, walked in, they had some violinists sitting right outside the door and they were playing music or whatever. I thought that that was a really nice touch. I think because I saw that, I expected, you know, a lot more. And I think because I've heard, like my manager has talked about, um, a bridal expo that she went to some years ago I just expected a lot more it wasn't really what I thought it was gonna be I thought it was gonna be like a really like oh my god wow type of thing and it wasn't so they had I'm gonna tell you a few things that they did have that I like so they had guys that were walking around in tuxedos that were really really unique and really really nice um, they were just walking around and when you saw them, you would the, the tuxedo would catch your eye. And then they were nice looking guys as well. So it was kind of like, oh, your tuxedo is really nice. Like, you know, like where, do y'all have a booth or something? And they would be like, oh, it's over there, or booth, such and such a number. So it was kind of like, okay, that was good promotion for them. Um, I will say that. Um, there were, surprisingly, there were a lot of, um, insurance companies there a lot of real estate companies there which i was kind of surprised with the real estate companies i can understand i guess the insurance companies i could kind of understand too but nobody was really in their booths the food vendors i saw one food vendor that i really really like the rest of them like trying their food even talking to some of the people in there their food was not up to par for real it was not all of that so that was kind of like ooh, okay um, there were not a lot of cake people. And I was very surprised. There were some cupcake people, but there were not a lot of cake people, which I really thought there were going to be a lot of cake people because, you know, of course, every wedding has a cake for real. So, didn't see a lot of cakes, but I can understand. Um, depending on how much the venue was charging for each vendor, um, they those small cake vendors might not have been able to afford an actual booth. So I can understand that as well. Um, there were there was a dress vendor. Um, they were like actually letting people try the dresses on and stuff. That was different. I was I was kind of shocked at that. That was kind of cool. But other than that, no, nothing really stuck out to me. One other thing that really stuck out to me was there was a mobile bartender like cart truck thingy. That was cool. I like that a lot. That was. That 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 caught my eye. Um, and then there was a royal flush. They were a portable potty, like it wasn't a portable potty. It was, but it was nice. It was like a truck. So that was cool. Um, but honestly, that was pretty much it. They had some bartenders there. That, I mean, that was cool. I tried some of their drinks or whatever. Um, but. Yeah, I don't, I don't, oh, oh. But yeah, yeah, I just, I don't know. Like, it just was, it was all right. It was all right. I think if there was one in D.C., which I think there is one coming up, my manager was telling me about that, I think that one would be a lot better, but I just feel like Baltimore just doesn't have that following to, like, have, like, the really good food vendors or the just people and, you know, like all of that type of stuff, the dessert, the cake people, the, they had a lot of DJs, a lot of photographers. I just, I don't know, I wasn't wowed. Like it wasn't, it was cool. It was a good experience, very good experience, but I definitely wasn't wowed. But y'all let me know if y'all have ever been to a bridal expo or anything like that, please comment below. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know what y'all think about this one. This was my first one, so maybe, they really aren't all of that. I just really honestly don't know. Um, but please, y'all, let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.